Hi guys, welcome to Shaq's World. My name is Shaq. We have another fantastic sunny day in Sydney, Australia. As you guys can see, it's nice and sunny today. So today is one of those days I really didn't want to make a video about. However, in Shaq's World, I like to keep it real for you guys. You guys might be wondering what happened. Someone done a hit and run on my 2017 Suzuki GSX-R 1000. You guys might be wondering how did that happen? Long story short, I walked inside my friend's store to grab an energy drink because it was early in the morning so I can wake up a bit. As soon as I walk out of the store, the motorcycle was dropped. I walked back inside the store, I said, mate, do you have external cameras because the shop owner is my good mate. He said, yeah, we've got external cameras. I said, can you review the footage? This is what happened. So he reviews the footage. The lady that's walking to her car because I parked my motorcycle behind her car. She's walking towards her car, she's seen my motorcycle, reverses back, hits my motorcycle and drives off. What she didn't realize was that we got external cameras outside the store. So let me show you guys a small footage of the accident. That was the video footage you guys saw of the hit and run. After that, I went straight to my local police station. I showed them the footage as evidence. They took my police report and I asked them how long would it take for me to get my motorcycle repaired because this is a brand new bike almost. They said, because you couldn't get the number plate properly, the number plate is blurry on the cameras, it will be very, very hard to find her. I said, yes, but her face is in the camera. They said, unless she has a criminal record, it will be very hard to find her. It could take six months, it could take a year, or we can't find her at all, we don't know. So at this stage, I really don't know what to do. Let me adjust my camera angle and show you guys the damage. So when the motorcycle dropped, the helmet was on the mirror. It managed to save the mirror. However, it damaged my helmet. As you guys can see, it's got scratches. It's got a small damage here. With the motorcycle helmets, when you drop it, you gotta buy a new one. You can't get them repaired. This is clipped out, as you guys can see. The brake lever is damaged. This is all scratched up. The fairing is all scratched, as you guys can see. I'm not sure how well the camera will pick it up, but it's all scratched. This part of the fairing is all scratched up as well. So it needs a new fairing. The bolt is damaged. This part of it is damaged as well. The foot peg is scratched, nothing major. I bought the Yushimura Alpha T slip on second hand. So when I bought this, it already had damages around here. This was scratched, had this damage before. Maybe I can claim this under insurance. I'm not sure yet. This is all scratched. Luckily, the fuel tank is not damaged because the fuel tank is more expensive than the whole fairing kit. This part is in good condition. Let's walk around the bike and have a look at the other side. See if there's any damages. This part of it is scratched. The clutch lever is scratched as well. You guys might actually laugh at this. However, this is almost like a brand new bike. I only had it for three months and this happened. Thanks for watching guys. Please smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for upcoming videos.